sweet sound. Hi everyone, welcome to Phil's Fun Fact Friday from Team Mitsum Motorsports in Air, Ontario. Today we're talking about the early to mid 70s race sleds, how they changed, how racing changed, and also how you saw those changes on the consumer sleds. Come in closer, take a look at these handlebars. There's a slight change to this. Somebody's added this part here. Why? Because racing was oval racing, even on the snow tracks. So you want to be able to get into the corner by putting a hand out to lean. So a lot of the racing in the early 70s was still on snow, but soon they were changing ice. Come on over here. Things were changing, 74, 75, 76. The sleds were now getting more modified for the ice and for turning left. If we look at the ski design, we're not looking at turning on snow, we're talking turning on ice. Skis are all about turning on ice, forget about the deep snow. If you've ever had a chance to look at Yvonne Duhamel's 1973, 74, 75 sleds, specifically the 74, which was not raced, but you could see there was a one of them only and it's been sold recently. I got to look underneath the hood of that. It's amazing how many changes Yvonne Duhamel made for 1974. All the weight was shifted to the left side. So in cornering, the weight was on this side, not pushing to that way. A lot of customization done. Later, you see changes done to the handlebars. These are pretty well straight, but then they started bending the handlebars so you had more leverage coming in and out of the corners. They looked odd because they were bent. So 74, 75, 76, a lot of changes for turning and steering on the ice. Also, liquid cooling came into play. So a sled like this, come on, look under the hood. I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions about this. We have what is claimed to be a 245, 247 cc free air engine so it's a rotary valve 250 engine notice the pipes notice the offset and if you come around the hood check this side here this is completely different from a stock a stock hood most hoods are flat here for the uh for the uh pro racers you got a different hood so with the factories getting heavily into snow pro racing and professional racing things were changing quickly on the track how did that affect you the consumer a lot of the technology was making its way. The rotary valve engines, liquid cooling, proved itself on the track in hot weather, and they thought, hey, we need to put that on consumer sleds to give them consistent performance. So these sleds were designed specifically for ice oval racing and turning left. But a lot of the performance that was changing here on the ice ovals was changing on your sleds. You take a look at a 76 to 78 RV or Sonic, and a lot of the technology made its way onto that sled. So a lot of changes happening on the track, I know I'm going to get a lot of questions about this sled specifically, that it's a free air. So a lot of stuff out there changed in 74, 75 on the ice racing, changed again for the consumer sleds as well. So much was happening so fast in the industry in the mid 70s. Thanks so much for watching our video series here at Team Vincent Motorsports and Air Ontario. Remember to like, share and comment especially about free years and liquid cooled engines in that era. Thanks again for watching Team Vincent Motorsports, Air Ontario.